everyone. Welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author. And welcome to my crafting room. And today we are going to be making a t-shirt quilt. And I'm going to be doing this in some sections here. So you'll get the gist of it. But this is what we're going to be doing. This is the back of the t-shirt quilt. So I am using a stabilizer. I have all these t-shirts that were given to me. I was contracted to make this for Christmas. And I had promised that I would show you how I do this. So I'm going to tell you right now, the stabilizer that I am working with is a Pellon uh, 950F Sure Taylor. And it is an iron on fusible right there. It's got some glue side on here and this side is the actual stable side. So it's not double sided. And that is what I have done to iron on to the back of this t-shirt to keep it from stretching. So if you've ever worked on um, t-shirts, the, ma the material is very stretch stretchy. It's like a jersey um, knit. So you want to stabilize that so that when you're sewing it together in a quilt, um, it won't move and stretch. So that's why we use the stabilizer for that. So I am going to show you how we do this. We're gonna get started right now. Okay, so I boo-booed and I cut all the t-shirts out first before recording, but you'll still get the gist of this. So all I did was lay down the t-shirt itself here. Now my, my um, squares are 15 by 15. So this is a 15 and a half inch ruler and that is what I'm laying down on these squares. So this is going to be a very large square um, this is going to be a queen sized quilt and it's, you can make it whatever size you want. So you could do it in a, I'm just going to pull this up cause it's already cut, but, um, so you can see that it's already the 15 and a half by 15 and a half. Now, all I need to do is I put the, uh, backing on this, the stabilizer, but if I was going to make it smaller, like a 10 inch, then that's what I would do. I would just use a 10 inch ruler. But since we're gonna do this with the bigger squares, it's 15 and a half by 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some stabilizer on the back of this shirt. Okay, so we're just gonna lay this down on top of the uh, glue. So the glue side is up and the smooth side is down and we are using parchment paper. My sister is helping. So we're using parchment paper, not parchment paper, I'm sorry, Teflon sheet. This is a Teflon sheet. And the glue is not sticking to the Teflon sheet, but you will definitely want to put something on top of here, whether it's uh, parchment paper or um, another cloth. You want to protect this from your iron because it will melt it. You use a dry iron with this. So you put your Teflon sheet or whatever it is that you're gonna use, and then you start pressing. And it does take a couple seconds to do this because you wanna make sure that your corners are down and that that's stuck down really, really well. You don't want it coming up at all. Okay. 
Alright. Here's the moment of truth. Yep. Oh, I've got oh. to press it more. And that, so you can see here that this didn't stick down. So you just got to press it down a little bit more. So these two corners. So we're just going to put the Teflon sheet back up on top of those and just heat it up again. Actually, it probably doesn't really matter because I trim it off anyway. Let me open it up. All right, so now it's down. Okay, all right. All right, so now we're ready to cut. And so now I'm gonna square this up to 15 by 15. So I'm just gonna lay my ruler here on top. I'm gonna make sure that I have plenty. And I'm just going to cut off the excess here. And then I'm just going to flip it around. And I'm going to line up on the 15 inch line here. So 15 inches here, 15 inches here. You want to make sure that you're right on. And then you're going to just trim it off. and then you have a perfect square. And it's perfect on the back. And that's what it should look like. And now you're ready to start attaching your squares together. So I forgot to tell you guys originally how I quilted these. And all I did was I just quilted it with an X. So yeah, it was pretty simple. But here is what it's starting to look like. It's taking over my table. Um, it is very heavy. I have added the sashing on here, as you can see. And um, I'm using my squiggly stitch with some fancy thread, which is really cool. That variegated thread is awesome. It looks great on here. Um, and so this is where we're at right now. So I have one more row to attach and this thing is already huge. It's already at queen size. And, um, and then I'm gonna add borders. So, Yes, and I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like when it's all finished, but this is how you make a t-shirt quilt. So right now I am quilting the border for the t-shirt quilt. This is a piece of black flannel and the backing fabric that's on that quilt. And you can see I have batting in here as well. I will be trimming this down to, I think, three and a half or four inches, not sure yet. But this is how we do a border for a quilt as you go. I wanted to pop on here real quick and just show you how I'm making my binding strips for the t-shirt quilt. I am binding with flannel. So this is a piece of flannel that is cut 10 inches wide and it is folded. I'm just gonna put it on my die. This is the two and a half inch um, AccuQuilt die. And I am just gonna put this on my die and just put it on there so I can get a good even cut. And it's on here nice and, nice and neat. Now I'm only gonna cut one layer at a time. I could probably do two, but I'm not gonna be brave and try that. So. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cutting mat on top of my die and my 
um, flannel. We are going to come over here to my AccuQuilt Go elect big electric cutter here. And you will see it does all the work for me. I don't have to do anything. And what's gonna happen is I'm going to get a perfectly cut two and a half inch strip. I'm gonna get three of those because it cuts three at a time. So for a queen size quilt, which is what I'm making, I've cut 12 strips and it's taken me about five minutes to cut them. And they're gonna be perfect when I pull them off this board. I'm just gonna rub the static that sometimes gets built up on this. Pull this off, voila, these are just the waste, which you can still use in another project as strips, so it's not really waste, but now you can see I have a perfectly cut two and a half inch strip that's ready for my binding now. So now I just need to sew these three pieces together and we're good to go. So I'm just winding a bobbin, and while I'm doing this, I thought I would show you my binding baby that I love so much. And um, she has our binding on here. This is enough binding to bind a queen size quilt. And as you can see, it sits on there perfectly. And what I will do is I will just start sewing and it'll just turn as I go. So I love this binding baby. Um, it's from Doohickey Designs. I will link below so that you can get one on your own. This one I had custom made because she looks kind of like me. I used to have red glasses. Now I don't. But um, anyway, I think she's amazing. Just wanted to share. Okay, the quilt is done. Here's the t-shirt quilt, the Avengers quilt. Sorry, I know you can see my treadmill and my box and all my play stuff, but... Um, this quilt is huge. It is heavy. My back hurts from sewing it. This is what it looks like. That's the border and the binding. Brandon's holding it so that you guys can see it. Okay, so you see the binding. It looks amazing. Here's the back of it. So we had one left over, and so we put it down here in this corner. And then, of course, the, uh, the uh, quilt tags. Quilt label. That's what I'm trying to say, a quilt label. But you can see here, this is what I did with that. Brandon's getting tired because this is really a heavy quilt. But... This is what it looks like, and that's what the binding looks like around it, um, right there. And that's it. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the t-shirt, the t-shirt quilt tutorial. I'm telling you now, this one kind of kicked my butt. It uh, is very, very heavy. Lots of stitching. It's extremely big. It finished at. 66 inches wide and 82 inches long. So it is queen sized. Um, very heavy. <laughs> I just can't say that enough. Uh, my husband thought it was pretty funny too because when he went to lift it up, it was pretty heavy. And I told him, see, I do get a workout from quilting. That's my exercise. So if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to share it, that's great because sharing is caring. Don't forget to click the little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesome new video. And I do upload awesome new videos weekly. And also, um, if you're interested in any of the items that I used as far as the AccuQuilt goes, the links are down below in the description box for that as well. Um, I am an, uh, an affiliate for AccuQuilt, so if you do purchase through that link, I do make a small commission and I do use all the money to put back into this channel so that we can make more cool stuff and keep on crafting. That's it for me today. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.